so here with the cast of The Hunger Games. Thank you guys for being here. I'm no, so excited. Oh, okay, I've only read the first book, but um, that's because I didn't want them to blur. And also, good reason. Yeah, yeah. and also I've been. And told, also it makes you have to read two more books. Yeah, so, yeah. and that's that's a lot of work. <laughs> um, so will you guys each introduce yourselves and tell everyone what character you play in the movie. Well, hi, I'm Jacqueline, and I'm playing Foxface. Okay. Um, do you want us to elaborate on the characters, or just... No, I mean, how do you feel about not have, even having a name? You're just Foxface. Well, that's the thing, is that I, I thought it would be a big deal, but it really wasn't. It's like the same with the not speaking. I mean, um, I, it was all these things that I was worried about, and then once I got on set, it didn't really matter. I mean, I created this whole backstory for Foxface, including okay. her name. And so, you know, to the rest of the world, they still refer to her as Foxface, but in my head, I have... Okay. I have a name. Okay. I'm uh, Josh Hutcherson, and I, I'm playing Peta, and uh, that's his name. Uh, I was given to him by his parents. He comes from a long line of bread. His uh, sister is rye. His brother is whole wheat. And uh, wow, yeah. nine grand. So wow, that's kind of, yeah. very nice. <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm Isabel Furman, and I play Chloe. Okay. And I cannot believe I freaked out when I found out you were from Orphan because <laughs> what a messed up character. So you, yeah. you're good at playing these uh, bad girls. Psychotic I, people. Well, yeah. I just think it's interesting <laughs> because they're so different from who I am. And so it's a lot of research and character work. And I really kind of get to look into the human soul and mm -hmm. discover their psyche, which I think is interesting because they're so different from me. Right. Have you guys actually seen the movie yet? Yeah, I got to see yes. it about two weeks ago. Okay. Uh, so everyone reads it. They create these scenes. They know what they like. Mm. It. Now, you know what your favorite part was to film. Yeah. but when you watch the movie, what's the coolest scene that people are going to be most excited to see, you think? Oh, man. The thing is, so many different scenes have so many different things to offer, so it depends on what you're looking for. I mean, if you want action, I think that the initial countdown leading up to the uh, cornucopia, that, that first scene, I think, is incredible. Uh, the way Gary edited it together, uh, Gary also director, and, and the way it was edited and, and scored, I think that's an extremely powerful moment. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of the whole build-up of the you know, first half of the movie leading up to that moment yeah. uh, is pretty, a pretty big payoff. Okay. Um, my friend Lance, I just talked to him yesterday, mm. and he already has a cardboard cutout of you in his room. That's amazing. On, yes. That's amazing. So <laughs> your faces are everywhere. He's like, I love Peta. You That's can tell awesome. him I said hi, and he has the card. And I'm like, I can't imagine walking through a mall. First of all, they started lining up at like 4 o'clock yesterday yeah, at the Mall of America weird. for you. Yeah. And that's crazy. It is crazy. So, There's a thousand people there. I know. In the cold. I, yeah, it's cool. I'm not from here. I'm from Indiana, like southern Indiana, close, oh. somewhat close to you. Where, where in southern Indiana? I am from, well, it's a small town called New Washington. Okay, my, my roommate's from Evansville. That's where I went to college. That's crazy. Yes, that's I went to the uh, University of Southern Indiana. Yes, so yes. Um, I read, yeah, you and Jennifer, I'm right by, I was oh, born Louisville, right by course, Louisville, yeah, yeah. but on the Indiana nice. side. Um, so are you at the point now where you can't go out in public? Oh, not at no. all. Not I'm always going to go out in public. I think that, you know, I, people you know, recognize me some, uh, but, you know, I think that you just can't let it, you can't let it change what you're going to do. You know, you can't mm -hmm. let that dictate your life. you got to dictate your own life. Okay, so yeah. with the cardboard cutouts and stuff, you guys see your face <laughs> everywhere. Obviously, everyone wants to know if you guys are single. Yes, yes, I am single. Yes, yeah. all single. It's just hard. It's hard, it's hard to have a relationship when you're on the road this much. What kind of girl do you look for, Josh? Oh boy! They um, want to know. They want to know. I They're want everywhere. somebody. <laughs> I want somebody that is just themselves, like real and genuine, and someone. I I don't ask for anything of somebody else. That I'm not willing to do myself. So I, you know, if I stay in good shape, I would want somebody home with to be in good shape. You know, and, and vice versa. So I mm -hmm. think that uh, all I can ask of somebody is much as I can ask of myself. Okay. And I know I've seen you say you have characteristics like your character. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? What are the things that you found relatable to your characters? <laughs> well, I'm not evil, so I, I mean, yeah. I think we have the same feistiness, but that's about it. I okay. Mean, yeah, I'm not, at least I don't think I messed up. <laughs> You're right. evil characters, though, so possibly there's a piece inside of you that is evil, sort of <laughs> psychotic something. Yeah, the exorcist. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, right. And watch out. What about you? Um, huh. Well, I mean, I'm not a genius like Fox Faces. But I think that if I was in the games, I probably would pull a fox face in the sense that I would try to look at everything kind of analytically mm -hmm. and spend a lot of time running and hiding rather okay. than killing people. <laughs> Me? Would oh, you have uh, yeah. I, uh, you know, I think that my biggest thing that I connect with Peter on is is his belief that you know no matter what kind of adversity you're faced with, you need to maintain you know your your constitution as a person, and that's something I've really thoroughly believed in my entire life and something that I want to continue to live my life by. Okay, so really quick, I'm going to wrap it up um, with two things. One, you know if you guys are Team Peter or Team Gail, and also 
you guys have been together for at least a week now, really mm -hmm. close, probably annoying the crap out of each <laughs> other. So what is something about each one of you guys that you would not find on your Wikipedia page? Maybe something, an annoying habit, or maybe a talent, or... Josh is really good at mouthing the lyrics to songs that he's listening to. Oh, it's you're great. You should be a professional lip singer when you grow up. I might. I've considered. Yeah, I've considered. Okay. If acting goes south, that's where I'm headed. Okay. For I'm sure. very easily scared. On the flight over here, I was... I threw a blanket at her. You threw a blanket at me and it scared me so much. <laughs> I almost cried. cried. I was just oh. like the best thing ever. I threw a blanket across the aisle and she literally just goes... <laughs> <laughs> and for like five minutes, she's like... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Pretty, so Team Peter, Team Gail, really quick. Team Katniss. Oh, Team Katniss, I like that. And Team Haymitch. Haymitch, all right. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Josh, there was obvious sexual chemistry here. 100%. So thank you for containing I it. I felt it. <laughs> it was hard. It wasn't easy. It wasn't. It, it wasn't. Was it was easy. hard to do yeah, the interview. I appreciate so. it. All right. Thank you guys. I really <laughs> awesome. appreciate it.